Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to cover the Let's Defend SOC 105 Event ID 16 exercise. This is another threat intelligence exercise, so you have to have VIP access in order to run through it. So it looks like we have a workstation reaching out to a domain pssd-ltdgroup.com this was allowed alright as the way that this normally starts I'm going to go ahead and grab all the general information and copy and paste it into a notepad for reference later we'll go ahead and get ourselves assigned There we go. All right. So we are looking at Bill Prod. So we're going to take a look at the threat intelligence section. And there is the area that we're looking for. PSSD-LTDgroup.com. According to Abuse CH, it's marked as spam with a score of 5. So it's not marked as malicious, ergo why it was allowed. Okay, if we go through and put in the destination IP that was given, the 5.188.0.251, into log management, we see that only one workstation touched it the 172.16.17.47 which should go back to the bill prod system take a look at the raw data okay so it looks like an xlsm or a macro enabled excel file kicked off the communication. Oh, it doesn't s it does not bode well. So let's go take a look at underneath endpoint management Bill Prod's machine. And so we have a discrepancy. According to the browser history, we see no reaching out. Which definitely puts another point that that Excel file was reaching out to that weird domain command history nothing there network connections nothing that shows up process list here we again see the macro enabled excel file it's running in the background username is bill01 which does well, oh, no, Mike01 was the username that was recorded. Alright, so that gives us the opportunity. We can go and take the MD5 out of this Excel document. And we can pop it into virus total. And so it is obviously a malicious document. 43 out of 59. And this was updated nine hours as to the time of recording. Uh, we take a look at the other options. So that same hash looked, in, looked up inside of hybrid analysis. Doesn't look like anything was sandboxed. And if we take a look in any.run, somebody did pull it down. which makes it definitely look like a malicious word document wanting you to enable macros and everything else uh, that 5.188.0.251 is a Russian Federation address oh yeah definitely malicious so we've looked at it from a 
document perspective. How about more so towards the domain in question? So the PSSD-LTD group, according to Talos, is a malware site or phishing and or, and has an untrusted web reputation. Which makes sense considering the fact if it's handing out malware, you definitely don't, would not want that allowed. So let's go ahead and take and put in the IP address she was reaching out to. Gcore Labs, example.com for the domain. Weird host name. Uh, but it does not list Russian Federation. Well, every GeoIP database is going to be a little bit different. That appears to be the case of what we're finding here. Well, given the fact that this thing's running and reached out. I, mean, I don't see anything in the process list that makes me overly concerned, but they still were allowed to go and reach out, even though we don't see a payload running in process history. So let's go ahead and let's... Oh, start the playbook. Okay. Uh, URL scan um, is not able to go through and render anything currently as of 11-30-2020. Uh, there's not a IP address back to the actual domain in question, um, but it does show previous scan results that show iOS. Uh, translates over to an Apple page for like iOS 13. Uh, given everything we looked at, this is definitely going to stand as malicious. Was there any interaction? Yes, it did actually go and reach out. And we're going to consider Bill's machine compromised. I've already gone through and done the request containment underneath endpoint security. So we'll mark that as next. And we're going to finish the playbook. And we're going to go ahead and finish it off. This particular case, it's going to be marked as a false positive. just because of the fact that it was allowed when realistically it should have been blocked. Given the fact that you have a, what all intents and purposes looks as a malicious Word document, or Excel document, reaching out to that domain. Fill in our notes. So in this case, Maldoc reaching out to a 404 parentheses now domain with a Russian IP. We'll close the alert. We'll take a look and see as to how we get scored. So let's see all the way down at the bottom. Hmm, not my best work. So apparently they are looking for it to be marked as a true positive. Even though it was allowed, and I wouldn't necessarily mark it as spam. So this might be more of one of those points of arguing about. Granted, yes, the 
domain in the resources that Let's Defend gives you uh, basically lists it as just spam. The URL scan, if you looked at the historic scans, actually I think I've got that up here, don't I? Yes, I do. They all end up translating. They start at the psd-ltdgroup.com and they all go to end up being redirected back to apple.com slash ios slash ios 13. These are two months ago. Yep. So obviously not reaching out to Russian. At least I think that's France. Oh, yep, okay. Uh, French. But it looks like at least two months ago this was just redirecting. Okay, so there we go. SOC 105, event ID 16. Apparently if you get up to this point, you might want to do true positive as opposed to false. But besides that point, I will see everybody at the next one.